Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here. In today's software tutorial, we're talking about embedding anything in software, such as a calendar, a calendar, uh, or forms with a custom code block. A custom code block allows you to inject your own HTML code or JavaScript code to your application. This means that you can extend the capability of your software application by embedding other applications or services by simply copy and pasting their embed code into this custom code block here. Embed code from different services might look slightly different, but they typically comes in uh, the form of an iframe tag, a div tag, or a script tag, or a mix of these common tags. If the services or tools offer the embed code option, you can usually find the embed code from the settings related to sharing or publishing. Now let me show you some popular use cases so you get the hang of how you can go about finding the embed code and pasting the code into your software custom code block. The first popular case would be Google Calendar. So let's say we are in our Google Calendar right now. Let's go to the setting from the top right corner, click on settings. And then on the left um, settings for my calendar, just pick the calendar that you want to embed. In this case, I picked Jasper which is in my, uh, my own calendar and go into integrate calendar. And down here, you will see the iframe, which I mentioned before an I iframe tag, and then we can go into customize. And here we can even customize uh, the color or a lot of stuff here. And on the right is basically just the preview, as you can see, as I change like the color, the width or the height, um, the right hand side is like a pretty accurate representation of how your embed code is going to look um, once you copy the, copy the embed code there. So when you feel like you're ready, um, simply just copy the code from this input box. And then you can come back into softer, copy that in, and here we go. It showed up in softer. So this is for Google Calendar. Now let's go into another common use case is Calendly, where you want people to book meetings with you. So let's say we have a consultation with Nomo here, which I already made before, and we can go into the share button here. And then with that three options, let's click on add to website. Now you see three options, embed inline, which uh, I'm going to show you an example, which is basically, uh, it's going to look like this. It's going to be embedded into your website straight away. Or you can use a widget pop-up, which is going to show up like a a uh, little pop-up on the uh, right-hand corner, bottom right corner, where you click on it and it's gonna pop it out and then you click on your event, then people can book through this pop-up. And the third option is a text pop-up where um, it's it's linked to uh, yeah a, a, a link that you can click on and then it will pop it out. So in our case, let's use embed inline here. Uh, you can pick whatever you want. And then the embed code is on the right. You can just copy the code um, or and then come into your software site and then paste it into the custom block and then it will basically show up on your software application. And software already covered a lot of the form uh, functionalities, but if you want more advanced form um, capability, uh, type form is a, is a very popular choice. Let's say we have a type form here, ready to go, and we go into share. In Share, you can see a lot of different format, just like Calendly we go through before. You can pick the standard, you can pick the full page, you can pick the pop-up. So just pick the one that suits your use case. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna go with standard. And here you can design it even more, change the width or, or height. I'm gonna leave them just um, as it is. I'm just trying out like, for example, transparency, or you can hide the header here. Uh, when you're ready, just hit get the code and then copy the code from here and we can go back to software and paste it in. And you can see that from the software side, it is ready to go. And there you have it. Uh, this is how you can very easily um, embed anything into software, as long as you can find the embed code offered by the service. Um, and they usually come, um, as long as they come in the form of an HTML code, you can embed them into your software page. 
Um, let me know in the comment down below what you think and what other common use cases that you want to embed into your software application. I will make uh, more tutorials as, we, um, as I collect more use cases that are requested by you guys. If this video helped, uh, please like and share this video, subscribe to my channel for more, um, and follow me on Twitter to engage with me or ask me anything. I do read my Twitter DMs. Um, so until next time, ciao.